What's going on everybody? Justin here. The Winds of Change is the channel name. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about why you should, one, be aware of Kohl's 50% off their clearance at all times. And two, why you should check out the shoes when you go there. Now a lot of people steer away from shoes because they're like, oh, the returns... Um, or, you know, it is a little bit higher of a buy cost. A lot of times you're spending 20 to 30 to 40 dollars a pair, uh, as opposed to like five dollars for an item. So you have a little bit more of an overhead with a higher risk of return that steers some people away, but that's an opportunity for the rest of us. One of my favorite places to source shoes from is Kohl's, and all you have to do is download the Kohl's app and they'll send you um, notifications. And one of the things that they do is really awesome is 50% off of their clearance. So you're talking, you can get a hundred dollar pair of shoes. that's clearance down to 40 and now you're paying $20 for it. That's pretty awesome. We're going to take a look at some of those that I have picked up and sold. And I'm going to show you what I, the, like the thought process that I went through. Uh, I'm picking them up and some of the profit that we made on them. So let's check some out. Okay, this is a screenshot from my inventory lab that has, uh, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of my last sales of shoes. All of these were purchased from Kohl's, sent in Amazon FBA, and then resold. So this is why I say consider shoes, okay? Despite them being a high return and high overhead, look at the margins that you get back on them so we've got a couple here a6 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 new balance nike but look at the profit margin on these 3370 2567 2175 1869 so these are all above 50 percent profit margin and some of them are actually really really good like 112 percent profit margin so spend 30 dollars and you're going to profit 33 uh, that's amazing so I don't want you to be afraid to go out there and buy these because uh, even with the returns, a lot of times they get returned and they can just be resold. Okay. And if not, if they come back and they're all tore up or whatever, a lot of times you can resell them on another platform and you're getting them cheap enough where you can break even or even still make some money. Okay, let's check out Amazon and, and see the actual profit breakdown here as well with an app uh, called Profitable that I'm using and we'll go over that in, in, in a minute but I want you to when we're going into this keep in mind that the shoes I'm selling are new new in the box so make sure you're checking that out because sometimes Kohl's will get returns and then they'll put them on the clearance and you can tell they've got dog hair in them or there's like stuff on the bottom and you don't want to get those kind of shoes Another issue that you run into, and this is a, a topic in the community, is that some Kohl's have been cutting off the tops of all their boxes, so you can't sell those as new on Amazon in that box, unless you repackage them in a plain brown box. Now, it's one of those things where Amazon says that you technically can do that, but you're gonna run the risk of, say you get a pair of Nikes for $120 and they get sent in a brown box. You're gonna run the risk of somebody being like, hey, these weren't authentic. And with Kohl's receipts, you can't always fight inauthentic claims. Um, so I know that people say you can, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, right? So it's a risk that you, that you run. If it's a lower end brand and something that's not collectible or whatever, I could put it into a, um, a brown shoe box and send it in as new. As a matter of fact, sometimes you'll even see brown shoe boxes at Kohl's with just the sticker of the shoe on there. So another thing to consider is that if you send something into Amazon and they damage your box, they'll repackage it. Like I've requested shoes to come back and uh, they've sent it back, not in the original box, and they repackaged it into a box. So Amazon does it, but it's their playground. Sometimes you might be able to get away with it, sometimes maybe not. At any rate, let's take a look here on Amazon. This is the app I was telling you about, it's called Profitable. Now there's a link down below uh, if you wanna check this out, uh, that you can go, helps me out, doesn't cost you anything extra. And don't forget there's also a 20% off coupon down there as well. So the cool thing I like about Profitable is that it gives you a lot of information and what you're looking at here uh, is the exact thing that you can have on your 
Home. So this is an app that you can download, take out with you on your smartphone, scan right there in the store and get all the information. So when I'm looking at it, say I find a pair of these shoes, right? This is one of the ones that sold for me. I paid $20.75 for it. You'll scan it, put in your sale price, and then what you're putting in there, and it's going to tell you the estimated profit based on that information. And here's the breakdown, the FBA fee, the referral fee, and the inbound fee. And you can set this to whatever you want. Storage fees, uh, break-even price that you would need to have to have a break-even. Uh, and then FBA, uh, best FBA price. And then here's your profit right here. Now, there's a lot of other data that goes on uh, here as well. It'll tell you if it is uh, positive or negative. The red is negative. And you can even up the storage fees here, like how long you think it's going to take to sell through. Another cool thing is, is sometimes I want to have a backup plan or say the um, shoe doesn't have uh, a lid on it or something. You can actually click right here from the app. Uh, check sold listings on eBay and it will tell you the sold listings right there It'll take you right to it, which is pretty dang on cool as well One thing about that though is I'm pretty sure it runs by the UPC So you you know not everybody puts that in on, on eBay So you'd have to do a little bit more in depth than that now one of the things here it says is that it's got a lot of variations so variations are so here's the thing sales rank is not ASIN specific it's to the parent ASIN right we well, see the BSR over here on the actual page uh, 52,000 so that is based on all of these different variations however the keeper graph is going to be not parent specific but it's going to be ASIN specific so that BSR 52,000 is for all of the variations. However, this graph is specific to this color and this size, this specific variation right here. So you can look at Keepa and it'll tell you how many are in stock and when. These green dips are when there's sales. And this is the price right here. And right there in the Profitable app, you actually have that as well. So you would click on Price Graph. And it would tell you that same information, right? Here's the sales over the last 90 days, or the amount of sellers. Here's the sales rank changing, and then here's the price. So that's right there uh, at your fingertips as well. So this would be a good buy, right? So 52,000 seller rank. We're going to be making uh, you know killer profit on this, 35 bucks for this example here. And the Keepa graph looks good, and it recommends 80 sales a month. All right, this next one here, same thing, right? Um, we would just do it the same way. We would check the sales rank. We would check the Keepa graph. We would check the profit. And, uh, yeah, then we'd make our decision. So this one has a lot of different variations as well. So it's probably got a really low sales rank. Sales rank is 22,000, which is really good, but that's for all the variations. So we're going to check the graph and we're going to see this specific variation. We see that it historically goes in the 60 range. So even if we would buy this for 30 and sell it for 60, we're still going to be making $10, right? But the cool thing about this is, is you can see the sellers right here start to go down and the price starts to go up. So we're actually going to probably pull, well, I think we did, we pulled like 80 uh, something off of that to make $26. So the Profit app has everything that you need right there at your fingertips, um, even a price graph if you don't have Keep on your phone or if you're not a member, if you're a member of Profitable, you get that price graph. Anyway, so there's just a few reasons why I get shoes. Well, one reason really that they make good, um, they make good profit, they make good return. And uh, Kohl's, like I said, if you're not sourcing at Kohl's, I recommend going out and uh, checking out their 50% off clearance sales when they have it, you're gonna find some good deals. The only thing you're gonna have trouble with is their carts because they suck. They got like four different kinds of carts and every one of them are horrible. Don't know why. But thanks for checking this video out. Hopefully it um, lets y'all wanna go out to get a new place to source like Kohl's and maybe it to turn you on to shoes. So go out there, have fun, make money, and I'll catch you all later.